you know, once again, it's Glenn and Cameron here with the corporate citizen. Let's have a conversation together, guys. Sometimes you can get the best informative topics from the peanut gallery. This is something that the weak, moist men consistently do. You can find information about holding companies on the internet for free. And then I was like, this isn't true. Anyone who's a seasoned entrepreneur knows that you cannot find relevant, important information. I'm gonna give you an example in a minute for free on the internet. So I engaged this yard bird and then he was like, if all of this information is free on the internet, how come you're not rich? And then he, once again, well, cause I'm not selling the course on holding companies. So I welcomed that fool to the block ministry because he was just a waste of time. Consistently, I get people you're selling online courses, man. Yeah, I am. I make no bones about it. Yes, I am. Well, most courses are worthless. That's been your experience. I'm sorry. My courses are actually quite good. And here's the thing. Guys, first out, shout out to all of the supporters of the corporate citizen, the folks who love this content, Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't do that enough. I'm gonna do that more often. And to all of you losers out there, yes, I use the L word. You're a loser. Well, he's selling these online courses. If it is so easy, I challenge you to create an online course and sell it and make some money. I'm a member of, well, I was on my old Facebook profile before it got hacked, but I was a member of several online course creators. And I, every day I saw people struggle to sell their courses. They struggled. So if you feel that it's such easy money is something that's easy to do, create an online course and see how you do, player. Because I'm here to, you know, I make this look easy. <laughs> I make it look easy, but it ain't easy. But go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. And also, let's go ahead and destroy this myth. Let's just destroy the myth that everything's on the internet and you can find it for free. I, like I said, I'm about to use an example. What did I do? I started a car rental business four months ago. And I was watching YouTube videos, I was going through Google, I was searching for Facebook groups and all this other stuff, and I did not find the information that I was looking for. Didn't find it. In fact, until I started putting my videos up on YouTube, most of what you saw about Toro and Hire Car was super positive. You can make all this money, it's passive income, and once I came to the party and start putting the truth out there, shout out to Car b, b if he's still around, all of a sudden you start seeing these videos talking about how horrible it was. See, here's the thing, and I, I consistently say this, you have to be very careful when you're getting your information from YouTube. Did that creator make that content to be helpful or did that creator make that content to get paid? Two different ways. And a lot of creators make content to get paid. Whether it actually helps you or not is immaterial. And this is what I found out. I was watching videos and I was just like, there's some missing pieces here. I'm not getting what I need. So I actually went ahead and bought eight cars and started collecting my own data. Right now, you can go to hire a car. And before I started putting BMWs on there, because this is something that came from my information, there was like one or two. Now there's like 30 on there. 
You want to know why? Because the folks are watching this channel. They're watching this channel. This is something that I found out. I found it out because I was conducting tests. I bought four cars for a hire car, put them on the platform, they went out. I bought four cars for Turo. Turo didn't do didn't Turo didn't do nothing. Turo didn't do nothing. Uh, actually, the Porsche went out on Turo two times. Then the second time it went out, it broke. And then um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get rid of these cars. And that's before I became seasoned because I, before I knew what I was doing. And I put the cars on hire car. Friday night, Saturday morning, all four of those cars were gone. They were gone. Nowhere on the internet did I see. All I saw on the internet was put up trash, put up used cars, put up crappy cars. This is all I saw on the internet. You put your nicer stuff on hire car on Toro, and you put your crappy stuff on hire car. I'm about to share something with you. I actually meet my renters and I talk to them. And this is something that I have come across time and time again. People have been renting cars that didn't work. The air conditioning didn't work. There was something wrong with it consistently. And what I am seeing is the majority of owners, and that's what we call them hire car, the owners are not taking care of their vehicles. The majority of them, they just stick them on there, get that good passive income, right? They're not running real businesses. Whereas I've had people rent from me. I've got probably 20, 25 people who have rented from me four or five times or more. You want to know why? Because I'm running a real business. I don't believe into this passive income BS. I'm running a real business. It's like, okay, you rent a car from me. It's going to be clean. It's going to be full of tank of gas at a minimum the minimum and if something happens to it I have the ability to replace that car with another car because here's the thing you got to understand how hire car works once they you accept your rental request and once they check the car out the money moves to your account and it could take two to three weeks for them to get their money back so if it's someone who's in an economically fragile situation that can hurt that could really, really hurt that they rent a car and then the car is not available or something happens and they don't get their money back or they don't get a replacement car. So that could really, really hurt. But back to my core argument. If you feel that all of this information, the good stuff, is free on the internet, I got a few questions for you. Number one, how come you're not rich? This person has a YouTube channel that just sucks. He ain't making no money. And I can look at him and tell he has no money. But he feels that all of this information is on YouTube for free. Let me tell you what you pay me for. Number one, you pay me for information that you can't Google. And more importantly, you pay me to structure it. Let's say you can find this information on the internet. It's unstructured. It's not put together. There's no logical situation. So literally, if you could find it, and I know for a fact that a lot of stuff I teach, you cannot find on the internet. You can't. But it, let's, for the sake of argument, say you could. It could literally take you six months to figure out the holding company strategy that I teach. If it was on the internet, because it's not. You want to know why it's not on the internet? How many people are starting holding companies? How many people go into business with the clear, defined path? I'm going to start two or three more businesses. There's not a big market of people. I'm me, me. I've introduced the holding company concept to the internet. I've done that. You want to know why I did that? I did it for myself. And because I have a holding company structure, because I was sitting around like next week, I'm going to have Deanna uh, catalyze all these receipts. I am getting the biggest tax refund I ever got in my life. 
Because every day I'm like, I find more stuff. I'm just like, okay, we're going to, oh, and I'm going to have her organize it and put it in QuickBooks. So this car business is going to get me like an $80,000 tax refund back. Because I have this holding company situation. I got one company making money. I got one company that's growing that will make money in the future. So this argument that you can find it for free, let's validate that. If you could find all of this high level, actionable advice on the internet, why aren't you rich? Please put that in the comments. Because if it's out there and it's good information, then you should be able to get this, grab this information, pull it back to your house, use it, and make some money. I'm, I'm here to tell you, people who have valuable information and they know they have valuable information, they're not putting it on the internet for free. Let me, let me tell you who put stuff on the internet for free. Posers and con artists that want to put stuff on social media to get you all jazzed up so you would buy their products and services. That's who be putting stuff on the internet for free. And shout out to JT Pocket Watchers. He went ahead and exposed him 500 for teaching people how to do credit fraud. That's the kind of information you could find for free. You could find out how you could buy an age corporation and lie to the bank and get this credit. This is the stuff you find out for free. Stuff that can literally land you in jail. That's what you find out. But once again, once again, prove me wrong. In the comment sections, put out information that you got from the internet for free. You didn't have to pay a penny and you made a million dollars. Put that in the comments. I want to see those comments. I don't think I'm going to see many of those comments because just like what I found out with the car rental business, and there is tons and tons and tons of information online about the car business, especially Turo. And what I found out to be very interesting is hire car is a better situation for long-term rentals than Toro. The shortest someone's kept a car for hire car for me has been four days. That's been a short, a four or five day rental is a short rental. And, you know, with Toro, I've got it set up with my strategy that if you do a longer rental, and those folks are not interested. It's like, I'm not doing a longer rental. They don't want to do it. They want to be in Atlanta and out of Atlanta. So just like I found out for starting this car business that I had to run experiments, I had to conduct my own analysis. That, that stuff wasn't on the Internet. It's on the Internet now because I put it on the Internet because I'm being transparent and open with you guys. But once again, Tell me how much money you made from the internet for free. And I'm talking real money. I'm not talking about like you made 500 bucks or 1500 bucks. I want to see, I made 100K from the internet for free. I want to see 100K, 200K, 300K. I want to see some real money. Once again, this is why, like, you know, back talking about crypto, why a lot of you guys are so gassed up, you ain't never seen no real money. I used to walk around every day with a rack on me. This is 10K. A rack to a rack and a half. So I walked around every day with ten dollars to $15,000 cash money on me. Every day for years. So I'm not impressed by $10,000 or $15,000. Let's talk about some real money. Let's talk about six figures. Let's talk about seven figures. I want you to put in the comments that you found a YouTube video or some information on the internet that puts seven figures in your pocket for free. Please put that in the comments. I don't think I'm going to see that. And if you go ahead, I'm going to actually hit you up with my email address. It's like, send me receipts, send me proof. Cause see, I put up receipts. I'll be talking to y'all with facts. So I want to see some facts. I want to see some receipts. So, once again, if all this information on the internet was free 
and it was so good, how come you're not rich? How come 75% of America makes $31,000 a year or less? If all this information is running around free on the internet, how come you have no money? I'm just saying. And to the clown that wants to play. And I'm starting to add more people to the block ministry because a lot of you moist, unsuccessful, unaccomplished men have a problem with me. I understand my personality is either you really like me or you really don't. And I kind of figured it out because when I can talk all this shit and back it up and still make more money in a day than you make all year long, that gets some people up in their feelings. Get them up in their feelings a little bit. But it's okay. You'll be okay, boo-boo. You'll be okay, boo-boo. Because here's the thing. I'm a child of the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. And when someone was better than you, you was like, he's better than me. But a lot of you narcissists who were raised by these single mothers feel that you're great, even though you have no proof of concept, no receipts, no results. I'm great because I think I'm great. Do you come here? And then you learn you're worthless. You're absolutely worthless. And that hurts because it's like, I I had people like, man, you don't have to be so harsh. I can never be as hard on you as life would be. (laughs) Never, I can't even come close to how hard life will be on you. So once again, please put it in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Yes. You can get into the corporate papers before October 1st. The price hasn't gone up. The link is below. And I will see you guys later. Have a good one.